Here's another thing I want to talk about is uh, the differences between microevolution and macroevolution. Okay. Um, and this is probably the most important thing I'll mention today. And, and the reason why is because microevolution just means variations within the, within the kinds of animals that we see in the many different varieties of dogs that we see. Um, so a lot of times people will say, well, how can you disagree with evolution? We see it in, there's 250 different kinds, breeds of dog. But that, you can get a big dog or a little dog, but they're still a dog and they can still interbreed. What we object to is that then taking that process and extrapolating it over time, which no one has observed, to then say that everything on Earth is related. And so that, those big changes above the species level are what is known as macroevolution, okay. and that's what creationists disagree with. So, okay. so that's the whole crux of the issue right there. If you can get a handle on microevolution and macroevolution, big, big changes versus small changes. Okay.